I mean, my, my major mentor was Gil Wexler, who was the original resident lighting designer at Stratford. Uh, and he went on to become the Metropolitan Opera resident lighting designer. And what he taught me, just by watching him work, because I worked with him for three seasons as an assistant, what he taught me was to really look at the pictures, at the composition, at the detail. And I used to say that, that he taught me to see the equivalent of like, if you've got a, a scale of one to 10 on lighting, uh, in terms of zero to full, he taught me to see a quarter point change in lighting levels. And it's that combination of the ability to watch somebody who's got that critical eye getting exactly the right balance, but also watching the technique they use to actually realize that process because you're having to talk to an electrician or a group of electricians if they're focusing. You've got to relate to the designer the, uh, that is a set and costume designer. You've got to relate to the director. So it's an ongoing process of collaboration and just the technique of being able to handle situations like a director that suddenly uh, becomes very upset with the look of a particular scene. You go, okay, how do I handle that? So if you've got somebody you can watch who can really do that well and you know work around the problem, work through the problem, whatever you want to call it, then you've got a chance to say, okay, if I get into this situation, there's a way of doing it. Now you also, as I say, by doing the work yourself and usually starting on a small scale and working to a larger scale, you develop your own techniques. You mean do it yourself? You, go you, you actually like, you, you actually, well, yeah, I, either, I mean, I, I think personally that you should at least have done all the mechanical things yourself as a designer to understand what that person up the, at the top of the ladder or, you know, in the ceiling club is going through. But there's also the fact that the more you understand the process, the more you understand what it actually takes to get the job done, the better equipped you are to actually supervise, realize, you know, in effect, analyze the process and do it in a way that gets everything the way you'd like it to be.